Good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well. As you can tell by the opening of today's video, it's going to be a little different. Share with you guys what I go through and a typical grocery shopping experience. Um, I, I, when I looked in, when I looked on YouTube, there was a lot of videos from a mom's kind of perspective as a stay-at-home parent. So as a stay-at-home dad, I kind of wanted to share with you what my experience was like for our family of four. As you can see in the beginning of the video, I order most of our diapers on Amazon as of now. We are going to start switching to the pull-ups. So we may buy a few rounds at Walmart Target just to go ahead and see what fits him best. Huggies, Pampers, um, it's a new experience with the boys. We only had one boy, so we're, we're starting into the potty training adventure. So come with me today as I go through the pantry and the refrigerator making our grocery shopping list. We're going to start going through the pantry first, going through eliminating boxes that are open with you know, one or two items in them that we don't need, or just boxes that are empty, so let's start that process. Alright, top looks pretty good. See, we got two bags of open goldfish crackers. This is definitely a daddy. I did this. We got the baby ones. I wanted to try the baby ones out for him. So I like to keep everything in here. Um, I have tried to use my tablet and my phone before. It's just not for me. It really comes in handy like when you're just, you know, out ideas or you're in a hurry. You're like, okay, and you can almost copy like a, a list from a prior week. So, and we go grocery shopping every two weeks, not every week. So a no list, what I just absolutely don't need. Like we have a lot of gravy right now, so we just don't need gravy. Or we don't need lunch meat or, or hot dogs. I do make a dinner list. I'll just... You know, we're having fish with veggies. You know, something simple just to know, like I have at least this many dinner ideas. I go for nine to 10 for a two week period because we are gonna eat out a couple nights. We are gonna have the leftover nights. Um, so there, so I account for like 10 dinners for basically a two week period for our family of four. All right, so we got the pantry, it's gone through. Everything looks pretty clean, neat, organized is how I like it. So when I bring in more groceries, we're not trying to throw things away. We're not trying to move things around. I've got a good view of what I need. Nice, easy in when it's all said and done. After you get done shopping, last thing you want to do is fight with stuff at the house. So now we go to the refrigerator. Basically same thing, go through it, organize it, clean it out, wipe it down, make sure all the little fingerprints, daddy prints, all that is off of it for the week. Any Tupperware containers like this that's been in there for even more than like a day, I, I just get rid of. I mean, you know, leftovers from two nights ago, just things that we're not going to eat. We're going grocery shopping. I need room for the new groceries. New ones. Nice clean rag. My favorite part, the produce. You never know what you're going to find in the produce department. Overall this week looks pretty good. Some sugar peas that didn't make it with some parsley. Oh, refrigerator's mad. You gotta close it or it has the door alarm. Uh, I'm sure it's not good to do this to the refrigerator. I only do it every two weeks. Okay, that's been here a while. That needs to be cooked or it needs to go. Some lunch meat. looks pretty clean so that's all for today we'll pick this up tomorrow uh, when we're at either Walmart or Target and getting ready to go grocery shopping all right I don't know if you can hear me over the sound of the shopping cart but it's just shortly after 7 a.m. on Sunday morning and I am at my favorite place in the entire world Walmart turn you guys around see what you see what you see of my local Walmart 
entire store. Clearance aisle. go on the list. Doing 9080 for my tacos. I got Ant some beans to play with in a big jar and let him shake them up. He liked that. Took the lid off and opened them up so he could play with them by hand and sort them into like little tin cups. Uh, he ended up eating a bunch and had a upset stomach. So we're gonna, somebody recommended some long rides, so. We'll see if he likes playing with that. Yeah, geez. This stuff. Plant-based burgers. I like these more than normal cheeseburgers. Put them on the grill. Some bacon, some barbecue sauce or something. They're so good. So that's why I like coming, you know, the 6, 630 before the pandemic. But now our Walmart has senior hours, which is awesome from six to seven for some of the seniors to come in and not have to worry about, you know, close proximity to other people. I think it's a great thing. So we have to wait till seven to get in, which is not too bad because not a lot of people getting up at seven on Sunday morning to do grocery shopping. We only pick up the produce that is necessary at the grocery store. We like to go to the farmer's market every Sunday and pick up fresh produce and support the local farmers. Sometimes things are just not in season. All right, almost can't hold no more. Apple, this honeydew, this cantaloupe, some salads. Get out of your way here. Come on. Our typical budget is 500 for the two weeks. This includes any additional items we may need to run and pick up. Also includes the farmer market visits that we spoke about earlier. There you are. Quite the grocery haul. I forgot to clean the van out this morning before I went grocery shopping. It fit. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Definitely saved a few bucks being more focused on the camera than the actual grocery shopping experience. But like I said earlier, it never fails. We have to go throughout midweek and get a couple different things for the kids and myself. Let me know what you think of the video. As always, Stay healthy, stay safe, and smile. It's free.